Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dark Cloud 2, aka the Darkest of the Chronicles. It's been some time since I played this. Ooh, yeah, not not intentional. Just been busy with other games, really. Um, but we are back, and we're on the final stretch in Chapter 5, Burning Undead. Let's get it started. We're so close to the end. And, um... In fact, when we get out of this dungeon, I'll see if I can invent myself uh, a new body piece for Steve. Although I doubt I'll have the materials required for it. It will be, once we get it, the best body armor for Steve in the game. And that is very exciting. But of course, as you will remember, we don't have Monica with us right now. So that sucks. But hopefully that won't be for very long. Just gonna get through these last remaining dungeons as quickly as possible. Do 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 do. I get just the shittest materials ever, even though actually I have been needing some of those. Oh no, not more bloody mask tribes bastards. Lava runners. Oh, I hate you guys so much. Come on, charge at me. Thank you. Damn it. Yeah, the gun isn't actually that great against these guys, considering you can't really stun them. But the wrench, however, certainly did the job quite nicely, and we got some repair powder as well. Which reminds me, do I have a good supply of supplies? Supplies, motherfucker, we do. So I think we'll probably... Ooh, it's a Mimic, is it? Well, I don't really want to be asked with the Mimics, but I guess we'll we'll kill it. It's right here. And because of our increased defense recently, which we haven't got any more items. Oh yeah, we do have a, an Apple of Eden, or Fruit of Eden, sorry, but I don't really want to be using that on Max. Monica definitely needs it more. But yeah, Max is, is not taking too much damage, so that's... That's cool. I probably will swap to Steve. Just to take on these guys, because it'll be a bit quicker. Kadoosh. Kadoosh! Um, did we get the Master Grade Core for Steve? I don't remember. Where is it? I have a shite memory. Oh yeah, we did. That's alright then. That's one less thing to worry about. Just get those shield kits for him. Oh, you bastard. Um, but yeah, so it's been probably in real life been about a week since I played this, possibly longer. Ooh, hello, Bone, bone Lord. You remind me of that dude from uh, Game of Thrones. You're a lot harder to fucking kill than that dude, though. Come on. There we go. But he was called the Lord of Bones, so it's the, there is a difference. Albeit a very small one. I... Oh my god, I've been playing the other games, so the controls are a bit foreign to me again. I think this dude has the exit key, though. Which is, um... Which is good. So that means... All we need to do is find the Geostone, and then we're out of here. Come on, bite me. Oh, you bastard! Stay still! And there we go, yep. Alright, we've got a rope. So I'll just open this chest, might as well. Where is the exit exactly? Is it close? Red paint! <laughs> just not... Not what I want, really. I keep on clicking the left stick in to access the map. That's because we've been playing FF12. Uh, 
Uh, I keep on... Because I do want to Let's Play that eventually. Uh, I, I've got some practice files on the go. I keep changing my mind to what setup I want to go with in regards to the jobs. I have restarted that game or, or rejigged my setup so many times. I just can't just... I think I have landed on something I'd want to use, but... I probably will change my mind again. There's just so many options, so many combinations of... Characters and certain jobs, it's ridiculous. The main game, the original game, was so much simpler in that regard. You could just max out everything with everyone. Alright, anyway, that's enough bitching about that game. You've got one... Shit, I didn't get the Geostone, you complete fuck it. Oh, bloody hell. What a spoon, I got carried away. Oh, we've got Fire Dragon, well we can't heal on this one. Uh, well, screw it. We'll do this next one. We'll go back. What a complete bloody... Oh. Max, you silly sausage. Why do you let me do that? I wish it pops up saying, Are you sure you want to leave this dungeon? Are you sure you haven't gotten everything that you need first? And I would have been like, Yeah, I'm probably okay, and still would have left, so... What a bollocks. It's alright though. More XP. For Stevie boy. Alright, do we. Uh, yeah, we should have tons of keys. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, seven of the. F <laughs> I keep on saying that, seven of the fuckers. It's not a very nice thing to say about a bunch of keys. They've done nothing to me. And a uh, stamina drink. Sweet. Lava bats. I don't want to fight any more of those lava tribesmen dudes. They're, they are so awkward to fight. Oh, there's a Geostone! I don't think I'll be forgetting this one. Alright, now we can leave Mage once we get the key. Uh, I think I mentioned this in a previous Pokemon video, actually. There has been a spider that has been, been making several appearances on my desk. I can't find the bastard, and it's it's actually not my main concern anymore because an even bigger spider has appeared above my bedroom door. Now, the only reason I've not killed him is because he's not in my bedroom. So, and as long as he stays where he is, I'm fine with it, alright? He's cool where he is. But if he fucking makes any dash... Oh, nice exit key. Oh, Red Dragon, though. What a, what a great... Underrated film, that is. Although I have not read the books, and I really should do. Um, but Red Dragon scared the shit out of me when I first saw it, when I was probably too young to be watching it. Uh, I actually saw it before Silence of the Lambs. But, uh, but yeah, I, I like that film. I thought it was pretty good. Although, since watching the Hannibal series, TV series, which I find far superior, um, it's not quite as good, but still, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Right, um... Let's just leave. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the big fuck-off spider that's just chilling above my door. I... I... In the past, I would have just killed it. But you know what? I'm trying... I'm trying to... Not really get over a phobia of such, because... If I was gonna get over the phobia, I'd just pick the damn thing up and chuck it out the window. But I ain't brave enough to do that shit. Right, let's go back to that other one. But I'm I'm seeing if I can just resist the urge and you know, I went I went to bed last night and I slept. I wasn't terrified. So and he was still there, exactly where I left him in the morning. It's uh It's funny that no one else has noticed him though. Like he's quite he's quite large and usually I get a call going there's a spider, you need to come kill it! And I'm like, oh, fine. Ultrasonic bomb, bastards. So we'll see how long he remains where he is. Of course, as soon as he does disappear, I'll be like, where is he? Where is the fucker? And I keep pressing the wrong goddamn buttons. Um, What am I doing? Oh yeah, repair. Repair the th Nova cannons. There we 
Yeah. Oh, sod off. I hate you guys. Although, you don't have the exit key, it's another dude. It's very close by. I just wish they were easier to hit without having to coax them into attacking you. Come on. Thank you. And round again. Let me just close my door a second. Oh, that was a good that was a good push. Usually I don't manage to quite close it. <sighs> Must be getting stronger. Oh, I did actually smack my ribs into the desk, so that hurt slightly, but I'm not gonna cry about it. Not on camera. That's uh That's for later. Alright, buddy, just let me grab the stone. I'm not gonna bother killing you lot. Oh shit, I don't think I'll have a choice actually. Bugger off! God, I hate you guys! You and your shields. Right. We have it this time. Now we can leave, mage. There you go. And the exit is nice and close by, so that's cool. So apart from spider updates, I don't really have much else to say. Um, yeah, it's, it's Sunday today, and uh, not really done much of note, apart from sit down to record, which is uh, currently what I am doing, of course. Treasure chest danger zone. I wonder what could possibly be the main enemy on this one. I guess we'll never know, Max. Because hopefully we won't have to kill any of them. Because Mimics never have the exit key. So the question is, where is the enemy that will have it? That's not you. That's not you. It is one of you. Oh, Alexander, aren't you an enemy we have to kill? was a new enemy that we didn't really get a good look at there because Steve was in the way, but I could have sworn Alexander was one of the enemies we need to kill. One of our weapon upgrades. I might be wrong though. But I know for a fact it is one of the weapons necessary enemies. Might not be one of the weapons I've got, but I definitely remember that. That is a mimic. No! They're all gonna be fucking mimics. Well not all of them, but most. Just grab the Geostone and be out of here. Maybe down at the end of this route? No. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo. But yeah, the body part that we're going to be making for Steve is the Sun and Moon armor. And uh, it was someone in the comments that actually reminded me that I could make it at this stage. Thanks to the electric sesame idea that we got in Heimrader, or the Gunderader workshop, I should say. Don't mind killing these guys, just round the next feet. Can't hurt, can it? Um, but yeah, we, we will need a lot of elements for it, I think. Of the light and possibly holy persuasion. 50 of each, I think, which is going to take a lot of money or a lot of time to find. Which is why I'm not that fussed about getting it invented straight away, because obviously, unless we have the money, we won't be able to bloody make it. And in fact, how much money do I have? Alright, nearly 5,000. So, we probably could get a decent amount of uh, elements towards it, but I just don't think... We'll be making it this chapter. I could be wrong. We'll try. We'll see what it, what we have anyway. That's a very nice little Healy Fountain thing. 
rotating stone. Not sure how that works, or how water is not completely evaporating in this place, but there you go. Where's the exit, old chum? Shit! Holy fuck, you did a lot of damage, dude! Kissing hell! Ooh, yeah, we're not even fully healing Steve anymore with one fuel, so... I shall have to either buy some more... Or, perhaps one of these rocks has some for us. Is it fuel? Is it fuel? No, it's a chill crystal. I'll take it, though. What about you? Bread. Okay. Yeah. Finding bread in a volcano. Totally... Totally, uh... Realistic and expected there. Alright, on to the last dungeon. So we're gonna have that lovely, uh... Final dungeon level music. Road to the River of Flames. So we're nearly at the center of the, the mountain, which is where we believe Monica resides. Whether or not she's in a good in a good condition or not, who knows? Yeah, saw that telegraphed a mile away, mate. You just can't hit me. Just too nimble. since it's the last dungeon level, we might as well just go around killing everything. Ooh, are we going to get something decent? Stamina drinks are okay, but I'd rather have something else. I'm not quite sure what. Ugh, gold brass at home. Nothing amazing there, nothing earth-shattering. Let's, uh, let's... I mean, both of these weapons have just been built up, so they should... Gain a few levels quite quickly. However, I don't think I want to be using them against those guys. Unless the wrench does a decent amount. Alright, not bad. That bat's getting on my tits. One at a time, please. Ooh. Go for the spin attack! Kadoosh! Ouch! Alright, Max, you, I know you've got some res uh, Resurrect Powder on you, but you still want to be avoiding damage. You know, just going in there with reckless abandon is not a good idea. Fuck it, Steve. Come on. Steve's just too good. Oh, seriously? Again? These Nova Cannons aren't lasting very long. Can't hit bats for shit. So I think we'll... Swap back. Should get a good number of shield kits now, actually. We got nearly, what, 8,000 XP? That's. I can't remember how much shield kits are at the moment. I think we've bought one for, what, 600 or something? So it's probably going to be a bit more than that. We'll check in on Cedric as soon as we do this, then, I think. As well as invent that armor. So I keep on forgetting to. Ooh. I was going to say, it's not like we really need it, but it would be nice for the extra defense, because we are taking a bit more damage than Max would be doing. Come on, just die! Stubborn bastards sometimes. That actually made me quite dizzy. And 
according to my photography score, we are about halfway between level 4 and 5, or is it 5 and 6? I can't remember what level we are now. Um, God, these Bone Lords, you stop blocking with that massive fucking hand of yours. So we've got a secret area, or a sealed off area, I should say. Um, none of you have the exit key. I'm just getting bored of this level now. Aha, you do. Shame you can't do fuck all against me when I'm just that freaking epic. Right, let's, um, let's leave. Was the Geostone? Oh. What's the bet in the Geostone? Oh no, no, it's here. I was gonna say, what's the bet? It's in the sealed off area, but thankfully we are lucky this time. So I just don't want to be bothered with that right now. Let's go! Away, Steve! Away! I really need to research how to get the three urn pack energy thing as well, because I do believe that is the best energy pack for Steve too. And then, all we need would be, you know, improved versions of the Nova Cannon, and the Jet Hover, and Steve would be pretty much maxed out. Hit the damn thing. Oh, I'm broken again! Holy piss balls! Yeah, there's going to be a lot of shield kits for Stevie Boy. Quite exciting. Antidote drink. Rope it up. Oh, let me get comfy again. I always slouch down in this chair, I think. I don't know, I've had it for a couple of years now. It's probably a bit battered. Mount Gundor Mouth. Um, no, not just yet. We have a few things I want to do, namely downloading Geostones, <clears throat> coughing on my own uh, throat, and paying a visit to Cedric. So yeah, we've already done that one, already done that one, already done that one, already done that one, already done that one. Is Eric near the windmill? Gaspar defeated. Well, we've not done that one yet. Operations room. Yep, that's restored. So, I think... Yeah, we just... Oh, Eric is not near the... So we haven't restored the weapon shop. What a silly buffoon I am. Where does Eric live, though? Nowhere near the windmill. So let's move... The... Instead of moving him out of the house and then moving the house, we'll move the windmill. Place it again. Over here. That's a nice spot for the windmill. Still 80%. Are you kidding me? You mean it still isn't near his house? He must be in the other house then. He must be in this one. And let's pop you. There. Is that close enough? It certainly is. So now we have the weapon shop, which I suppose we should check out. Because that might have some other ideas in there. So, we'll quickly go pay a visit to Cedric before I forget. There's been a change in the future. And we might as well... I know we haven't completely... 100% of the Giorami yet, but... There's probably a bunch of chests that we want to find. So, I'd rather grab them before we proceed any further in the story. Cedric, I need uh, repairs, first of all. Thank you. And, if you wouldn't mind, give me some shield kits. 
Which, uh, 660, yeah, we're gonna be getting a few of these. I just wish you could get more than one at a freaking time. So how much defense do we have right now? We got 8 out of 84. Hoo-hoo, boy! Yeah. Although the sun and moon armor will give us 30 body defense, I think. But that core is going to take a while to upgrade. So uh, I'll probably just speed this up or just cut to when I've done all of this because it is incredibly tedious. Right, so we should be about to buy the final shield kit we can afford. 1,400. And uh, we'll see how much defense we get from that. Alrighty. Wow, that didn't take too long at all then. 40 out of 84, that's not too shabby. That is quite nice. So Steve will be much more resilient now, which is good. Obviously. I mean, why would it be bad? I don't know. Right, so let's... Um, since we're near Conda, actually, and we do have 6,000... Well, over 6,000 gold, I might just try an event... Unless I don't have the right ideas, and which I might not do, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, new invention, we want... The Electric Sesame. We want... The Sun... Do we have the Sun? Oh, I didn't take a picture of the Sun, really? Bloody hell. And we need the Moon. And I think we have the Moon, don't we? Do we have the Moon? We don't have the moon? Or is it Scoop? <gasps> is it Scoop? No, we don't. We have the evening sun. Oh yeah, that's not right though. Oh, I've been slacking on me on me uh, picture taking then. We need we need the moon. Is the moon out right now? What time of day is it? No, wrong button. Oh, it's, it is morning. Early morning. I can't see the freaking moon though. I'm going to move to Palm Brinks. Because there is actually a, a scoop in Barton Brinks I haven't got. Is the moon out? Where's the moon? Look, oh, there's the moon! Catch the moon! Catch the moon! Where is it? I can't even see it. Is it fucked off? Is it behind that thing? I mean, if we've missed it, it doesn't really matter. We can get it next time, but that's a bit of a pain. I'm going to head towards the, the pond again, because there is um, there is a scoop there, but I'm, uh, I'm guessing it's only at night time, and it, if it is nearly morning, it probably won't appear. There really is no bastard moon. Bloody hell. So this could be a complete waste of time, but I suppose if we wait long enough, we'll get a picture of the sun anyway. Yep, the daytime music's starting. That is not a good sign. I think we've missed it. Just missed it. How infuriating. What do you have to say? That's just like him. Yep. Good old Donners, who I still need to talk to to get more of the scoops in me memo. So we'll just hang around here, I think, until the sun makes an appearance, which it should be doing very soon. And there is, uh, I think I mentioned a ghost in Venicchio, but there is one that appears in this pond at some point as well, but I don't remember what time. I think it must be night time. Alright, sun, where are you? Rise and shine. Oh, there you are. That's the morning sun. But that's not the one we want. So I'm just gonna... Wait here a second. Is this the one we want? Nope, still morning sun. God damn it. I mean, I understand taking pictures of ideas like uh, the electric sesame and other things that Max has never seen before. I can understand that. But surely he knows what the sun looks like and the moon. Why does he need pictures of those? You silly, silly boy. Take pictures of everything! It's 
Still morning, sun? So yeah, as you can see, score 452. Yeah, we are level 5, so that's alright. Delete. Delete everything. Come on, get heart nice and high in the sky for me. God, I feel like Donald Trump. Just staring at that sun. What a clever guy. We got the sun, right, okay. So now I'm gonna wait till night time and see if we can get a picture of the moon and whatever happens in this pond area. Oh, in fact, there's something I can examine here. Oh, if I get on without permission, would I get in trouble, I wonder? I don't know. Whose boat was it, exactly? So, it is now nearly nine o'clock. So the moon should be somewhere. There we go. So we got a picture of the moon, and I did also take a picture of the sun as it was setting for the evening sun idea. Now, I'm not certain where this ghost is supposed to appear in this pond. So, I don't know. We'll wait around for a little bit. Let's take random picks. But I have a feeling it might only appear a little bit later on. So, I guess I'll just cut to when I get it. Ah, as I was waiting for this ghost to appear, which I believe is between 12 and 4 a.m., just chatting to this little moon man, and uh, he's asking about if the moon's gonna be there when he follows us, which is weird. Um, he's gonna wait for the moon to come out here. Maybe it's because of something that happened in the past, but Rufio doesn't trust humans at all. Uh, you've got to get Rufio to believe you. If you gave him a photo of the moon, that might do it. Well, gosh darn it, we've just got one, so... Come with us, buddy! Wow, amazing! There's a moon in this photo! From this exact spot, actually, which is funny. Um, now you can see the moon anytime, any place, or just, you could anyway. Just wait till night time, as long as there's not, like, tons of cloud cover. What a weird little man. Of course I will, I've nowhere else to go. Yay, so we just got another party member, and I didn't even plan for that. Fantastic, so what time is it? Okay, so I'm not even close to being midnight yet, so we'll just carry on waiting. Right, so we are very close to midnight. Um, I just want to say how relaxing it is in this place. It's always been one of my favourite places in the game. Just the sounds of the crickets and random dogs barking in the distance. So serene. Anyway, it is past midnight, so if we take a bunch of pictures... Oh, I saw you. Ruler of the pond. So yes, there is a ghost over there. A ghosty. Right, excellent. That's another scoop in the bag. Not had one of those in a while. So, um, let's make this thing. If I could actually put these in my idea box, idea book, whatever, <laughs> whatever it's called. Yeah, I'm I'm certain this thing is going to be expensive material-wise. So, again, what did we want? We wanted the sun, the moon, and the electric sesame. Look at that armor! Say cheese! It's beautiful! It's so pretty. It looks like he's got eyes and everything. It looks dead cozy too. And nicely shielded on the back there as well. So that is excellent. However, it comes at a price. Yeah, 50 sticky clays. And we actually have a lot of elements there. I didn't think we had that many light elements for sure. So we might be able to buy enough for this. I guess we'll go see Condor and... We'll find out, won't we? So, let's go to the station. And let's get some music again, even though that place is really nice and relaxing. I do like a bit of music when I'm playing games. So... Let's go chat to Conda. He's the man... of the hour. We need his materials. 
He's never steered us wrong, even though I do believe he probably could offer us a discount at this point. The amount of money we've given him. So, we need 50 clay, of which we have zero. And that's going to set us back a thousand. Um, okay. And... Was it 19 light elements we need? No, it was... No, we need 17 holy elements. Do we? I can't remember now. Shit. We need 50 of both, don't we? So... There's a thousand right there. And uh, we should have enough money here. Um, in fact, we only need... 31. I think, I'm hoping, I'll, I really hope I'm buying the right elements there, I have a terrible memory. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're good. We've got it, we've got it baby! The best armor in the game for Steve! Happy days! We need to sort my inventory again. Exchange, excellente! Oh, Stevie boy! Yep, we get the jet hover on you and the triple earn pack, and you are good to go, boy. Not that you're already not good to go, because you will kick anything's ass, probably, but... That is fine. I feel a lot better about proceeding with the story now, and... Gosh darn it, that's exactly what we're not going to do just yet, because I did say I would check out the future as well. So, there you go. I'm gonna go grab some chesticles in the future. There's got to be some that I haven't got. And it's probably going to take me ages to find them. So, go get yourself a, a beverage or a tasty snack. We could be a while. But it will be worth it. Oh, I can't wait to get Monica back, though. Uh, spoilers. We do get her back. She doesn't die. Okay, if anyone was thinking that, I mean... Really? Did you really think we'd never see her again? Um. So, I guess, even though I feel like I've pretty much searched the entirety of the first level, I'm gonna go do a quick recce around the place. I really wish you could control Steve here. That would make things so much easier. So, this... I will speed this up, because this is gonna take a long time. Oh, we can check out the weapon shop as well while we're here, because that's... Should have popped up somewhere, maybe the second... Oh no, over there, so... That's fine then. Anything near the lift? Nope. Anything hiding behind? Nope. Anything... Nope. I'm always worried about missing some in case they pop up like here. But I don't know if they actually do. Although it'd be typical. I'm be missing one there in case I ever don't check it. Um, was there anything inside the item shop, chest-wise? I don't know. We're going to quickly check, since we're running past it anyway. Might as well be thorough. Though I don't see anything. Nope. Is there anything I need to buy while I'm here? Um, I have plenty of cheese. I have plenty of repair powder. No. 